All right, joining us now to weigh in on all today's biggest stories, I call him the great one, and he deserves it. And he is about to host a brand new show right here on the Fox News Channel because I was pulling teeth to get him on my show, and it's called Life, Liberty, and Levin. Thank me. Uh, he's also the host of CRTV's Levin TV, the great one. Um, I'm so happy you got this show. I wish because I've been I beg you to come on my show, but I don't have, I don't want to waste our time. This Pfizer, right. you talk about a post-constitutional America, Mark. Your books on the Constitution are phenomenal. Must read by anybody that cares about it. And we're seeing a presidential candidate fix a primary who gets an exoneration before investigation with Comey and Strzok. I'm talking about Hillary, who then tries to fix by buying, you know, bought and paid for Russian propaganda. And then that lie, those lies are used to get a FISA warrant against the opposition candidate and an incoming president and his team. If that's not post-constitutional, I don't know what is, Mr. Levin. A couple things about that. There's an old chief of staff to an attorney general at the Justice Department. First of all, let me say this. As an American citizen, to watch this is repulsive. It's unconscionable. To watch the mob media do what they're doing Last week, we were told the president was mentally unstable. For months before that, we're told he's colluding with the Russians. Today, we're told, him, we're told he's a racist. So he's colluding with the Russians. He's mentally unstable. He is a racist. And going to start it's a nuclear so war. It's so disgusting. It's, it's so outrageous. What happened to that author, Michael Wolff? Three days ago, he was, he was the in thing. Now he's gone. What happened to uh, all the allegations about the sexual misconduct? Now that's all gone. Now we're on to something new because a known liar, Dick Durbin, leaves a confidential meeting with the president and other senators. He's relied on by the media because they want to rely on him, just like they wanted to rely on that author. They want to push this president out. They talk about the 25th Amendment. They talk about impeachment. This is the Praetorian Guard media. The biggest scandal in our lifetime is staring them in the face. You, I, and a handful of others seem to care about it. And it is this, the politicization of the highest levels of the FBI and the Justice Department, the holdovers from the prior administration. It's not a question if J Jim Comey, the former FBI director, leaked. The question is, how much did he leak? It's not a question if he leaked classified information. The question is, how much classified information? He was the director of the FBI, the chief investigator who was, who was hunting down Donald Trump, sending texts to his girlfriend because he's cheating on his wife. And when I used to work at the Justice Department, you did that, you're out. You know why? Because they didn't want you to be blackmailed by, of all people, the Russians. Now we learn there's more texts which appear to suggest he's been leaking to the media. Now we know because there's a report. The Trump administration, this is as of six months ago, faced 125 leak stories, one leak a day containing information potentially damaging to our national security. Leaks with the capacity to damage national security flowed about seven times as fast as they did under Bush. And the majority of the leaks during the Trump administration, again, this is as of six months ago, 78 concerned the Russian probes. Now, talking about the Russia probe, we have a special counsel who was appointed to do what? To investigate collusion. He's investigating everything but collusion. A special counsel does not exist to investigate financial crimes, whether some guy registered as a, a federal agent or so forth. He's to investigate collusion. Where's your case, Mr. Prosecutor? What's it been, six months, eight months? Give us your collusion case. Mark. Now, in addition to him, yeah. we have uh, this dossier. This isn't a dossier. This is 35 pages of crap that was put together by this Fusion GPS. They, uh, the Hillary Clinton campaign and the DNC collaborated, used their money to use a law firm to hire this guy, who then hires a British ex-spy, who then works with, among others, the Kremlin. That's collusion. They put this thing together, and they work it, and they give it to the FBI. Now, the highest levels of the FBI are very excited to have this. They're even thinking about putting this ex-British spy on their payroll. What do they do with it? I know they used it I to know get they that did FISA too. warrant in part. Of, you know how I know, though, Sean? Why won't the FBI director or why won't anyone at the Department of Justice, when they're asked, say, no, it wasn't used? Hey, Mark, Rod Rosenstein. Hold on now. Hey, uh, real that, quick. That, that does not reveal classified information. 
Just right. say, no, we didn't use it. But they won't say it, so they did use it. They absolutely used it. We confirmed last week that they used it. I had one report that said it was what pushed it over the top. Rod Rosenstein went into Speaker Ryan's office, according to my reports, and begged him, oh, please don't make us turn over stuff. Here's my question. It's last question. You have a minute to go. We immediate that <laughs> this is why I want you on every week. We have a media <laughs> that, oh, they put no, Woodward don't. and Bernstein on a pedestal. And by the way, they, they did work, good work, interesting work, truth. And a media that now is so biased, abusively so, complicit even, they talk about Watergate. Mark, this was about influencing a presidential election We're using FISA warrants. Russian propaganda, Hillary DNC bought and paid for. I think it's much bigger on a scale that we don't even know yet, and it will be much bigger. You know, to get a FISA warrant, you need to have probable cause that uh, somebody is an agent or acting as an agent, in this case, for Russia. Can Mr. Mueller, can anybody at Justice tell us exactly who the Russian agent was on the Trump campaign? There wasn't any Russian agent. I don't know where the hell this FISA judge is, but he or she should be furious and should be demanding answers to this. As for the media in this country, we have a free press. That's fine. We also have a stupid press, a very liberal press. A, a partisan press. I mean, when I watch this guy, Brian Stelter, who I really, or this Don Lemon, or over there, uh, the, uh, uh, the morning schmo and Mrs. Schmo over there on uh, MSNBC and so forth, you call that press? I call that a joke. <laughs> I won't give it away. They're part of our video of the day.